Welcome back Pokemon trainers and happy Thanksgiving weekend to all my fellow Canadianites out there. Professor Chaz here, the lab coat's on back order and we have another special event going on in Pokemon Go as of today. Wait. And we are good. Just had to make sure the audio recorder was recording in the proper format this time. Last episode it apparently switched at one point and I didn't notice. That's why it didn't sound as good as usual. Not that it sounds great ever. Anyway, moving on. So we're here with October's Community Day special event uh, featuring Duff Skull as the target Pokemon. Now, hopefully you're hearing the game music because right now this phone is so far gone that not only does the charging port not work properly, meaning you know our live streams are basically just not happening. However, another problem is the audio port decides to stop working now too, so I can't hear a thing. Of course, the earbud's not in, but I know that I can't hear a thing, so. I am suffering through total silence while you folks get to hear the game. I hope. I gotta double check that. Regardless, I'm gonna be getting a new phone at some point ASAP so we can continue on with what we usually have here on the channel. So, as I say, this is, as you can see from the neighborhood, Duskull Community Day. We do have our ticket. Chunk needs some attention, but uh, Chaz needs some coins, so I'm gonna let him come back at some point. Alright, let's get right over to Professor Willow because we do have the ticket for, is it? Nothing dull about Duskull special research, I believe. Hey there, Chaz. Have you noticed an increase, an increase in ghost-type Pokemon appearing lately? Because I sure have. I just did myself a moment ago. I was conducting some research in my lab recently when I felt a chill run up my spine, almost like something was watching me from the shadows. <laughs> I mean, I guess there are shadows right now. I was gonna say it's a bright, sunny day, Professor, but I whirled around to face my uninvited guest and saw a Pokemon floating eerily in the corner. Apparently startled by my gaze, it flew through the wall and escaped into the great outdoors. I haven't seen it since. Uh, long lost love. Wait, what? Based on my brief glimpse of it and its quick escape, I believe my visitor was Duskull, the Requiem Pokemon. It's known to silently sneak up on its prey by making itself invisible. It also has the ability to slip straight through thick walls, as you just indicated. Naturally, my goal now is to learn more about Duskull. Can you lend me a hand? Hopefully we can come to understand why it was sneaking around my lab. Okay, so we got to power up Pokemon 10 times, got to catch 15 Duskull, got to make five nice throws, no problem. Uh, let's see, so got to power up Pokemon five times, catch five Duskull. These are our, what would you call it, the timed research here. Getting, look at all those Sinnoh stones, of course. You do need, I think it's 100 candy and a Sinnoh stone to evolve Dusk Clops into Dusk Noir. That's why we're getting all these things. Now, people were mentioning, yes, three times the catch Stardust. Not bad. I do need more Stardust. I think I'm gonna hold off on using a Star Piece, however, because, uh, where are we at here? Go to Pokemon. I was gonna show you how my level up research is going as far as Candy XLs. We do have three Pokemon close to being able to power up using Candy XLs. In fact, I think I only need technically one more Candy XL to evolve, or not evolve, to power up my Raichu or my Pikachu. And we're pretty close on Beedrill as well, and I could convert say 14 more candy or candy XLs out of our basic candy and that is pretty close but of course with Pikachu and Raichu I can only use candy XL for one of them so technically I've only got two Pokemon very close to being able to max out their CP to work on completing my level up research which still requires three Pokemon to be maxed out using candy XLs we're still a ways away from that, but I don't mind building up the experience to uh, put forward to the next level up. So that's where we stand on that right now. All right, without any further wasting of time, we got to start catching some of these Duskull, getting some of the special research taken care of, timed research as well, and we'll come back as we complete some of these steps, one of four of Nothing Dull About Duskull.
mention this earlier, but uh, I do have only a few hours to take part in our community day today. But I think that should be enough time to get all of our special research done and hopefully get myself three shinies so I can choose which ones to evolve into which of the three different forms that Duskull has. Now, did you know, for those of you who might be more recent to the game, newer players, did you know back in the day when community days first came into the game, they were limited to just three hours? Isn't that crazy? Nowadays we have six hours, like I forget when they, they started doing it, but I think initially it was a bit of a trial run to see how well does a six hour community day go, and it seems like everybody liked it, so that seems to be the norm nowadays. All right, now, in the first little loop around the area, I did complete our timed research, so we're gonna get ourselves two Sinnoh Stones, and in addition to that, we're gonna get ourselves two more Sinnoh Stones, and some sort of an encounter you think we'll see a shiny off of our research? As I always say, the uh, Pokemon from research are better stats than usually you'll find in the wild. So getting a shiny off of this wouldn't be bad. This one is not, but I do have the uh, special research already done as well, so we'll be able to see what we get off of that. And I'll show you how well we've been doing thus far with just our standard wild captures. All right, can we see, I'll say, I haven't gotten a standard Duskull of three stars yet. We don't have the weather boost, of course. I, today does not look like it's gonna be foggy by any means, so can't hope for that. But we can hope for a three star off of our research, which we do have right there. Throw a favorite star on you for the time being. And let's go. Now, the field research from the two stops I have active, catch three Duskull for great balls. Since I don't use those, I toss those out. So I'm not really gonna get any field research done today. But we get ourselves 15 Pokeballs for our timed or special research, 20 of our Duskull candies. I've been using Pinup Berries to uh, catch up as many of those Pokemon for bonus candy as I can. I realized at one point I probably should have Mega Evolve Buster, my Gengar, to get extra Ghost type catch candy. But since I can't do the full, you know, six hour event, I thought, well, I guess it's not that bad to miss out on one bonus candy per capture because uh, Pinup Berries will do quite well also. All right, let's see what our first Duskull gives us. A standard, but again, cannot bury the way to go, getting extra candies. And, ooh, that wasn't even a nice or great or anything throw. Will it do the trick, however? Trick or treat, there we go. We got ourselves another Duskull. Can you see three stars on this? Because I do like to have, yes, three star Pokemon when it comes time to do evolving, because usually these special researchers do want you to evolve up your Pokemon. All right, we get the overall rewards. We're getting an incense, 2,000 Stardusts, and another Duskull. Will we see a shiny off of this one? Only time will tell. You can skip forward in the video about three seconds, I'll say, because you'll find out that we do indeed, nice, get a research Duskull. I'll throw a Golden Raz at you for old time's sake. Gonna miss that throw very nicely, but pretty sure we should get the catch without too much difficulty. All right, now what are the stats on this one? And it's kind of interesting that we did get a three-star Duskull. What? Eh, it's a two-star? Still, it's a shiny, I guess. But before we get to what Willow has to say next, I wanna show you, we have actually caught two other shinies in the wild. The first one, nothing to write home about. A one star, not terrible. The second one, however, that's actually not that bad. A wild catch Duskull, random odds of all stats, getting a three star from that one. That might be our Dusk Noir, unless we do happen to find a better three star, but I'm not gonna hold my breath on that. But we do get this from the research. All right, not too bad. Let's see what Willow wants us to do next up. Uh, click, there we go. Why does it, it's been doing that lately. I click his face, but he doesn't talk. Anyways, hey there Chaz, great work researching Duskull. While you were out, I actually had another eerie encounter in my lab. I saw Duskull slipping through a wall to scare me again, so I shouted boo before it could and, and turn the tables. It fled back through the wall, but then it reappeared and looked at me expectantly. Is it playing peekaboo? Thus began an impromptu game of peekaboo. It made me realize that Duskull may not get many chances to play with others because people are so quick to startle at its appearance. Makes you a bit sad, doesn't it? Kinda, maybe? I wonder what else we can learn about Duskull. I know, why don't you try evolving your Duskull into Dusclops? 
Also known as the Beckon Pokemon, Dusclops apparently sucks everything in as if it were a black hole. So be careful of its mouth. Does it have a mouth, actually? Okay, got to catch 15 more Duskull, transfer 10 Pokemon, evolve 3 Duskull. Not bad at all. Do we have any more time research? We do not. Okay, so we're all caught up on that. So let us keep on moving on, catching more Duskull. Back in a moment. Now evolving up the third of our three Duskull into Dusclops to complete our special research. We did get the catches and the transfers as well, so this is all we need left to see what we get for our reward. Now we're not going to evolve any of the shinies just yet, I want to wait and see which are the three best by the end of uh, my participation in the event today. But we'll get to that at some point as we claim up another 30 of our Duskull candies, 15 of these items we don't even use, and an encounter for this task, and then one for the overall step. I don't think I saw a shiny mark, but this might actually be a Dusclops. It is a Dusclops, indeed. Let's go for that bonus candy. I'm not even centered in the, the video. Oops. You know, I can actually do editing to make that work, but that takes effort, and do I want to put in effort? Not that much. I don't mind if I'm a little off-centered here and there. In fact, I could just do the rest of the video like this, and that's totally fine. Or like this. What do you prefer? I kind of like it centered. Symmetrical-ish type concept. We've got a three-star Dusclops. We'll throw a star on you as well, favorite star. And overall, let's see, do we get another shiny off of research? Now, I'm asking too much. I do have the, uh, well, you know what? Can we get a three-star shiny off of research? That's not asking too much, is it? Maybe. Let's find out as we get a non-shiny, but getting one off the research is still pretty good, especially I'm, I'm happy with having gotten a three-star shiny in general from a non-weather boosted wild encounter. We're gonna make three great curveball throws? Piece of cake. Not a problem whatsoever at all. All right, we got that dust skull. Extra candy, I believe, as well for our pinup bear usage. And another three star. So research wise, we're doing pretty good for the nice high stat Pokemon. All right, gonna click him twice, gonna click the face. Don't even see what we're gonna do yet. Uh, wait, uh, wait, Chaz, you did what? I was so, what? I was so sure I told you not to feed a berry to Dusclops. But maybe I said the opposite by mistake? <laughs> yeah, my bad on that one. Why, oh. Is it because if it opens its mouth, it'll suck everything in? But it just ate the berry normally, huh? No danger of you getting sucked in as well? Fascinating. Uh, oh, and quite relieving. Yes, glad to see you back in one piece. Now let's learn more about Dusclops' evolution, Dusk Noir. Known as the Gripper Pokemon, it's said to steal people and Pokemon away at the behest of transmissions from the spirit world. Now we're getting into some freaky stuff here. No one knows whether Dusk Noir has a will of its own. Sounds like a Pokemon ripe for researching. Could you evolve your Dusclops for me so we can learn more? Sounds kind of dangerous. Okay, make three great curveball throws, evolve one Dusclops, transfer ten Pokemon. You can do the evolution right now since we are here together. Let's do that. Which is our best of these three stars? Let's take a look see. Uh, that one is six points away from perfect. That's worse. Okay, so six is our best. How about this one? This one is only uh, five points. So I think we're going to go with our five point Pokemon. We'll use 100 candy and one of our Snow Stones to evolve into Dusk Noir, completing that task for our next set of research. Then what was it again? Great curveballs, transfer, not a problem. Let's see what our full form Dusk Noir is looking like. Should I read the Pokedexes for these things? I mean, we've already seen them. I don't know if I've actually read, I'm gonna read it. I know there's a chance I haven't read it on the channel or the videos as of yet, but we have 
Dust Noir, the gripper Pokemon. The antenna on its head captures radio waves from the world of spirits that command it to take people there. Basically what he just said, but still freaky stuff. All right, let's continue on and complete this next set of research, which may be the last task that we need to do, because we could just be getting rewards handed to us as step four comes to a close. Let's find out together in a moment. Long last, our special research is complete, an hour and a half into the event. I guess it wasn't that long lasting, but still regardless, let's get ourselves a reward starting with 50 Duskull candies, dropping the mask a little bit. Uh, we get two more Sinnoh stones, wow, they really want us to evolve things, don't they? And a star piece, which as I said, I could have used, but at least I got an extra one right now. So overall, we're being handed a rocket radar. 15 Ultra Balls and 2,500 experience. And it looks like we are just getting rewards. And he's freaking out. Hey there, tra ah, g -g 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 ghost behind you. It's, wait, is that Dusk Noir? <laughs> Sorry about that. It's my first time seeing one. Really? It's about time you saw one. No matter how spooky they may seem, we have to remember that ghost type Pokemon are Pokemon all the same. They're looking for friends just like the rest of us. Thanks for your help today, Chaz. I hope to see you in your Dust Noir again soon. All right, so we are being handed a couple of silver pin-up berries. What is this? 3,500 experience and a standard encounter and then an overall encounter. Do we see a shiny Dust Clops off of this? No, you do get a Dust Skull though. Not a shiny, but I'm pretty sure even if it was the Dust Noir, I don't think you can get shiny evolve forms from the research, unless maybe, maybe it's one of the few evolved species that do have shinies in the game. I think, I don't know, do any of the Kanto species have evolutions that can be shiny? I think Sailor Pika, one of our viewers here, one of our channel members actually once said, uh, Arcanine can be shiny in the wild as rare as it is to find one. I still say, once you have, uh, once they've included a shiny, let's say, Weedle. Weedle is in the game, like let's say they add Weedle at one point. All of its family should be available to be found as a shiny in the wild because it's rare enough to find evolved forms, let alone, you know, add in the, the extra factor of being shiny on top of that, you'd have a real rare collectible. All right, let's get ourselves some more Stardust, a couple more of our rare candies, and we're gonna see the Dusk Noir encounter now, I'm pretty sure. Watch me eat my own words and watch this be a shiny. I wouldn't say no to that. And it is not, but my AR mode, there's a clothesline right in front of my face. Is this good? You like this angle? Is this great? Of course, as I say, AR mode doesn't always work well. I wanna bring that down like that. There we go, I wanna angle. I don't know why I'm putting so much effort into the face cam. The guys aren't even looking at that. Let's just do this, but. When AR Plus mode works, it's cool. When it doesn't, you get stuff like this. Easy catches, that's what you get. First try. Of course, I use a pin at berry, so we get 20 Duskull candies off of that catch. Wow, that put us at a very uncomfortable Duskull candy amount, didn't it? Take a look for yourselves. Anyway, let's see what the stats are like on this one. I just got attacked by my tree. It's a weird day. It is a, only a two star, really? But it does have the special move of Shadow Ball. I think that is the attack, like the charge move that is special for the event. I don't think it's Hex, so I think they can already get Hex. So we'll throw a star on you because you are one of our special attack, you know, what would you call it, event exclusive attack Pokemon. And that does conclude our Community Day research today. Still waiting to complete the December stuff from last year. If I can click that arrow, there we go. Still looking for some Electabuzz and Magmar. <laughs> we 
Wow. Now, I think what they did last year for Community Day, it brought back... No. Wait, am I right? Hang on. It did bring back the previous year's Community Day Pokemon as maybe raid bosses and stuff like that. So this December, I might complete this December and last December's Community Day research. We'll have to find out. We're only a couple months away, actually, so that could be happening soon. All right, but that is it for our special research. I'll come back in a little bit and do the evolutions for some of our shinies, because even though I'm an hour and a half in, there's still like, what, four and a half hours left to go? I'm content. I might just call it a day here. But we'll be back in a little bit as I evolve up some shinies. I did pick up a couple extras, as you can see there. We'll review them in just a moment. Now let's take some time and get some evolutions done here in the game. One, we're going to Pokedex. We're going over to Pokemon. There we go. So I've decided on which of my shiny Duskull will be evolving up. We're going to keep Jillian here as a little Duskull. This is the one star I think we first started off with. We're going to go over to Taranga, our two star we got from the special research, I believe that was. So I think, what is it again? Eight points from perfect is when you get to the three stars, and this is 14 points. So, I mean, yeah, we had a little way to improve on there, but that's why you're only going up into the second form, which we're going to get right now. Going up to, was that 642 CP? I'm shadowing myself. Oops. All right, we'll see what shiny Dust Skull Ops looks like. Almost said Dust Skull again. I think they all share the red. Oh, no, wait. I'm pretty sure I've seen that Dusk Noir is considerably different than the red shade we see for Dust Skull and Dust Clops. But there we go. So no special attack here. Of course, it's going to be the uh, Dusk Noir that we do get to see a special attack on. So cool to have a red uh, Dusk Skull, Dusk Clops. I didn't mention before, but I up until today, I never found a shiny Dusk Skull ever. So this is new for me. And this is our three star, a random find in the wild, a Charon, which if I didn't know, or I mean, I didn't know, if I didn't watch James and Mike, the uh, angry video game nerd and his buddy Mike, you know, I like to watch some of their old reruns, the James and Mike Mondays. They were talking about the, is it the, the boat keeper or the fairy man, that's it, that fairies uh, spirits off to the afterlife. And I thought that's kind of a fitting name for what we're about to see here. Why am I doing a praise? We already did that. We're going to go for one more evolution and off screen I'll be evolving up more of the uh, dust clops we picked up along the way too to get as many special exclusive community day attacks for some of these uh, dust noir which will be available for trade to some local players who may not get a chance to play today. There we go. So yeah, and it's interesting. I've seen this a lot with many shiny Pokemon, how the colors, the shiny colors can change so drastically from one form to the other. Like, there is not a hint of red on this guy other than the eye itself. But there is the Shadow Ball, two, charge, uh, two charges at 100 power apiece. Not bad. In trainer battles, you only get the one charge, but it's still worth 100 power. Alrighty, there we go. So that is it for our shiny evolutions. We'll come back in a little while as we do a finish up recap of the event here in Pokemon Go. And we'll see how the rest of the day goes. So stay tuned in just a moment. So this will bring to a close our Community Day special video here featuring Duskull, the Requiem Pokemon. Let me know down in the comments, how do things go for you for your special day? I do want to apologize though, this is a little bit late getting up on the channel. Like I said, Thanksgiving weekend, I was kind of busy with this and that, yada yada yada. I don't know if this video is even relevant a couple days after the event, but hey, you know what? I recorded it. You gotta see it. You're gonna watch this. And if you didn't, oh well. If you did though, and you enjoyed it, feel free to let me know with the old like button down below. Usually the uh, thumbs up doesn't have a phone in it, but still, if you want to see some more content from Professor Chaz, like this video, feel free to hit the subscribe button. If you haven't hit it just yet, you can also click that bell button next to it to get updates, sorry, notifications when new updates are happening on the channel, new posts, new videos, new live streams. Once I do manage to get a proper uh, phone once again that I can do live streams with, hopefully before too long. And if you want to go the extra little bit of a mile and help support the channel through sponsorship, you can click the join button down below and see what perks may be of interest to you to start collecting for your sponsorship on the channel today. All right, with that, we got to get rolling. I uh, have to prepare for another, another, another special event coming up here in Pokemon Go in just a few days, I believe. Go to the news, 
We're going to take a quick look-see at Pokemon Go Halloween. I think we have two weeks of events coming up starting this coming Friday, so stay tuned, not only to my channel, but in your own games for that. For the time being, however, Professor Chaz is now signing off. Thank you folks again for watching, and I will catch you next time.